Yes, my name is uh, Colonel Jim Wellens, and I'm the commanding officer of MOTS-1. So uh, MOTS-1, first and foremost, our, our job is to run the Weapons and Tactics Instructor course. And uh, so we do that twice a year, uh, every year. In the Weapons and Tactics Instructor course, uh, we're responsible for standardizing aviation weapons and tactics across all of the different platforms that we fly and all the different weapon systems that, that we employ. And so twice a year, every year, we run that uh, what we call a train the trainer type of course here where we take the best uh, of the units that we have across marine aviation uh, we bring them in here we standardize them we make them better and then we send them out uh, back out to the fleet to the units that are going to be deploying around the world in support of real world uh, magtaf operations uh, and through the process of training the students here at wti and then sending them back out to the fleet on a, on a semi-annual basis uh, we're able to keep a very very close collaboration and dialogue with the, with the Fleet Marine Force in terms of what the latest tactics are and how to approach the threats that we're going to face on tomorrow's battlefield. So uh, of note, first of all, the F-35B, uh, we have brought in the Joint Strike Fighter, the Lightning II. We brought that into WTI over the last few years. Of note, we have been able to incorporate uh, our first F-35 students, our first F-35 WTI graduates here in the last two WTI courses. We've been able to incorporate the F-35 into almost everything that we do here with WTI. It's not just a fighter going out and doing strike fighter type things. It's actually uh, supporting assault support. It's supporting ground forces. Uh, it's, it, it is conducting electronic warfare. It allows us to go and face threat systems that we otherwise uh, would not be able to, uh, to, to address. We get the RQ-21, which is the latest uh, unmanned aerial system uh, in the Marine Corps, and that's going to be the, the future, uh, the near-term future for the Marine Corps in terms of the unmanned aerial systems that we use. We're also able to incorporate the RQ-21 and our older RQ-7 uh, Shadow into uh, every mission that we run here at WTI. It gives us that persistent uh, intel surveillance and reconnaissance, uh, the, the uh, airborne uh, communication node that we need, uh, and all of those things that our unmanned aerial systems bring uh, to the battlefield. The threat that we've faced and the, and the types of missions that we've that we've conducted in, in Iraq and Afghanistan and, and uh, you know over the over the you know the years since since 9/11, uh, I think we think here at Mons One uh, that are going to be very different from the threats that we face in, in the future. We work very hard here at Mons One not to fight yesterday's war. We work hard to try to anticipate what capabilities and threats we're going to face in, in the future fight. And so we go out across uh, mostly the southwestern United States, but really around, around the world to try to identify what those threats are and then try to simulate those threats here uh, and, and, and in some cases actually fight those threats uh, in, in very complex WTI scenarios uh, that are much more lethal and challenging than, than what our Marines have faced, uh, Marine aviation in particular, over the last 10 years. So future, the future war is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a joint uh, there's going to be coalition involvement. Uh, there is going to be, it's going to be a co complex command and control environment. Uh, most likely there will be a maritime component uh, to that to that future fight. Uh, and uh, it's going to require uh, the use of advanced communication techniques. It's going to require us to figure out a way to communicate digitally on, in a very complex uh, battlefield. We'll have to deal with uh, electronic warfare uh, capabilities that, that, our, that our enemies, uh, potential adversaries will have and we'll have to be able to protect the electronic capabilities that we have uh, on the friendly side as well. So I think it's going to be a complex, challenging environment. And again, we try to expose our students here at WTI uh, to, to that uh, to, the, to the maximum extent.